Well, today I'm out here at Homer Township Cemetery in Midland County. And I've got a pretty simple cleaning to do. A woman called me yesterday and asked me if I could clean this headstone up for her. I'm out here walking around. It's a nice day. It's 9.15 in the morning. Probably almost 70 degrees. And uh, other than the weed whacker in the background, because uh, they're doing some mowing the grass and stuff today. So a really nice day. This is one of those, <clears throat> what I call a kind of a country cemetery. It's out of town a little ways. It's just kind of out in a nice peaceful area. It's just all forest across the road. It's all forest behind it. It's just a really nice cemetery and a, other than the uh, occasional vehicle going by like that it's really nice so anyways got this uh, headstone right here to clean so I'm gonna get my stuff out and uh, show you how I mix all my stuff up and uh, we'll get started on it shouldn't take too long Hey, before we get going on this video, guys, I want to send a shout out to my friend Mike Carroll and his people out at Rediscovering History, Inc. They're out on the East Coast. If you don't know about them, find them on Facebook. They do some wonderful stuff. They do a lot of the same stuff I do and then some, a lot more. Uh, they get really in depth of the history of each cemetery. They are working on some of the oldest tombstones in the history of our country. And uh, they are a 501c3 nonprofit, so if you uh, want to donate some money for whatever reason, if it's something that you really care about or uh, if you need to get rid of some money for tax time, <laughs> uh, you know, consider donating to them. It's a great cause. They use all the money that they get donated for, for doing volunteer style work. Um, it's just a, a great group of people, and I, I can't say enough good things about them. So. Um, if you don't know about them yet, find them on Facebook. They'd be happy to have some more followers and some more people discussing what they're doing. So, all right, let's get going on this. Okay, for those of you that this may be your first video of mine that you're watching, um, I use two different materials when cleaning headstones. I use this, which is Orvis paste. And I mix that in, in water in a bucket. And then I use uh, D2 Biological Solution. This uh, Orvis paste is kind of a, it's a liquid soap kind of. And uh, usually the way I do this is I get about a gallon of water in my bucket and I just dip a couple fingers in here, get about that much. And just mix it up in this water. The mix is really good. It, it suds up like dish soap. And uh, this is safe material to use for cleaning headstones. And it works really well, actually, as a pre-wash. So that's all you do there. Just mix it up so that it's sudsy like that. And uh, then get your brush. And Start brushing. Just dip your brush in here. Mix that up a little bit more, maybe. And, uh, I like to kind of wet the whole stone down first. That kind of starts softening things up. And then once you have the whole thing wet, you can go back over with a wet brush and get these fine details. And 
I have a different brush that can reach in there a little better. It's nice to have a variety of different styles of brushes that can reach into different places. As you can see, this vase is loose, but it's got a metal tab on it that runs all the way over that other one, so I can't remove it. So I gotta work around that. Now, if you guys noticed that, maybe you didn't, maybe you can't see it in the camera, but down here, there's some lettering that's etched in. You can't see it at all now, but a minute ago when it was starting to dry, you could. It almost looked like I wiped it right off. <laughs> Okay, now I think it's time for a rinse and uh, I just use my old D2 jugs for water. I know a couple videos ago somebody said, why are you splashing that D2 all over like that? It's expensive stuff, but uh, it's not, it's just water. I got about six of these leftover jugs that I used for D2 or for water <laughs> Okay, so got a good rinse there. Looks like there's still some stuff up in here. This is where my little sprayer bottle comes in handy, but I didn't bring it with me today. Okay. Looks like there might be a few little pieces in there still, but I'm gonna treat it with D2. I'm going to come back in like two weeks, touch it up. There's still some black mold and stuff up on the top that I can't get off. And uh, spray the whole thing with D2. It'll be looking good in a couple weeks. I was going to treat or uh, coat these uh, vases with uh, wax because I thought they were bronze. But then when I got here, um, you know, in a photo, they look like the bronze. But when I got here, they're like an, an enamel painted um aluminum so i'm not going to do anything with those they got a nice finish on the outside and uh now it's just time to get it uh treated with d2 and put the decorations back and call it done for a couple weeks Just like that, it's done for a couple weeks. A couple weeks we'll come back and scrub her down again. See if I can get some of that black stuff off the top. 
clean out those uh, flowers a little better and touch up all the little fine detail a little more and, and then it'll be done so good deal hey if you guys enjoyed this video please leave me a thumbs up share it out with all your friends if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do that too don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss anything else just like this